my how do you how do you get into the mindset to get back to being in a mindset where you have passion with what you're doing? Because if you fuck up, mm-hmm. now you don't like what you're doing. Your team knows, right? Well, it, it, it depends. Are you trying to scrap everything that you've been doing because you're like, oh, it doesn't work. I'm tired. I'm over it. I'm frustrated? Work no, pain. I'm trying to make it better for everybody. So then it's less effort. So right. it, people, hey, you got invited to come work with us versus, yep. oh, yeah, email blast, email, blast, right? Because I'm at a different place now in my life heading to these seven figures. I don't need or want to be in the mindset of having to justify prices to anyone. Right. And so I know I've articulated my value and I've had great customers, but there's something not connecting, bro. And I think we figured it out. Correct me if I'm wrong. Do you think it has to do more with the way I'm positioning myself? I, I would say, I would say it plays some because people need to have an opinion of you. Mm. They have to, they have to have some sort of opinion about you, you know, which is why I always circle back into content because that's where their first impression, their first opinion is really going to make the, the ultimate decision on whether they want to stick with you or not. You know what I mean? So if, even if you know that it's in your best interest to, get people to we to want to be on board with your with your with your dele- delegation and VA services, right? Even if you know in your heart, like I am the best, like you need to come to me and you're making offers all the time. If people don't know firsthand that you're actually like the best at it, they're just gonna see oh, this guy's just hungry for money. Two different sides, mm-hmm. different opinions. So yes, the way you present yourself, the way you show up, like that absolutely has has everything to do with it. You know what I mean? The intention behind the action, right? Right. I think that's where I get crossed because in the past in my life, self-sabotaging behaviors or or things where I I unintentionally give off this vibe of desperation. Okay. Yeah. And, you know, I think that's um, a fair assumption, analysis, whatever, Mm -hmm. from internally. And from the audience that's taking a look, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? It's not hard to do to make someone feel like they're <clears throat> uh, not being taken advantage of, but to, to, to see like, oh, this guy's just hungry for cash. He's desperate. Right. You know, when people are looking desperate, I see it every day. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So yeah, I think, I think here, here's what, here's what you almost have to do. You almost have to like have the intention, right. Is, is think about, I'm going to post this post uh, tomorrow. You write the post today. You revisit that post tomorrow before you post it with a fresh mind. And mm-hmm. you take a look at it and say, hey, great. Does this come across as needy, desperate, um, you know, rude or, or whatever, right? Because people are sensitive. People are so sensitive. That's Clearly, the thing too, is uh, like my mindset is very different. Right, no, because my urgency is so different. You come out of a coma, you don't care about things the same way people do. Your skin, your skin is 20 times thicker than theirs because they haven't just woken up from a coma. They do have all the time in the world. You don't. You witness death. Right. You know what I mean? So that's that's very different. You have this layer of skin after skin after skin that that's built up through these experiences. And through, through not just with the medical stuff, but with like your professional life, Mm. you've interviewed like a thousand VAs, dude, you know, the process. So what is looking like desperateness, Mm. desperate, is that a word? Desperosity? What's what's the word? (laughs) Desperosity. (laughs) Let's use that. That's pretty fancy. We'll use that one. But what's looking like that from their end to you, it's just like, well, I don't have time to kill it. Do you, do you really want to grow your business? Like, like. Like this, right, right, because that so, does not, in my mind, it's just urgency, right? Yeah, I don't give a fuck about you. Got to play right off now. the other biases, though. Other biases, though. So there is a lot of urgency. That's that's a good one. But there's also like scarcity. Hey, I got three VAs left, which I've seen you do. I've seen you do just like that all the time, mm-hmm. you know. And then you have other stuff like, um, fuck, I don't know. I got to look it up. The twenty-five right. cognitive biases, whatever. 
that's marketing in a nutshell too, is that you play off those things, right? Uh, missing out, fear of missing out, all those things. And if you play them right, then you're really going to be unstoppable. Right. Not, in a, not in a way that you're trying to manipulate people, but just in a way that like you get them to see your perspective where you're at. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. I mean, that, that goes in handy with, you know, not being able to do everything yourself. You know what I mean? 